sum of finite geometric series. Well, we're talking about geometric series, which means we are in 11.3, and hopefully we can finish that up um, with this little video clip here. So here is the formula. I know this one looks a little crazier than the arithmetic one in 11.2 that we talked about, but let's take a look at it here. So a sub 1 still stands for the first term. Um, R is the common ratio that we're talking about and n is the number of terms. Okay, so all this is still the same. n is the number of terms, the r stands for the common ratio, a sub 1 still means the first term. Okay, so when we're taking a look at example 5, there is our formula, and I need to f see if it is a geometric sequence first. Um, 5 divided by 1 is 5, 25 divided by 5 is 5, 125 divided by 25 is 5, 625 divided by 125, so I figured out that it is geometric and it's R equals 5, right? That's basically what I was doing there, trying to figure out what R is. And that's what I'm doing down here, just double checking. You need to make sure that it's geometric before you do the problem, which is why I tried them all out. And since they all have a common ratio of 5, I now know that I can put a 5 in there for R. I also know what the first term is, that's 1. So basically I plugged everything in that I know. I have a 5 in for R, I have a 1 in for A sub 1, and 10, the 10 term, that's N. Right there it is. Okay, so now that I know all this, I plug it in, no problem. So 1 minus um, 5 to the 10th divided by 1 minus 5 times 1. You can literally plug all that in on your calculator, and you get your answer, which is right there, which is 2,441,406. That's all you have to do with the sum formulas. You just plug in the numbers that they give you. So now what they're saying is, what if I give you the sum, right? What if I'm telling you what the sum is, and I'm telling you that r is 5, and I'm telling you that the first term is 1, so we're using the same example. Let's figure out what n is. So what is the number of terms that you have to add together to get that number right there? Well, since it's s sub n, and they're saying that the sum is 3,906, I have that plugged in there. I know that it's 1 out in front, so instead of taking 1 times all that, I just didn't write it down. There should be a 1 out there, but 1 times all that is just all of this, so it really doesn't matter. And I plugged in um, R as 5. Um, when I rewrite this, I know that um, the bottom is negative 4. The top might be a little fishier for us to figure out, but I know that the bottom at least is negative 4. So to get rid of a fraction to solve this equation, I'm going to multiply both sides by the negative 4 just to get rid of that fraction. So I end up with negative 15,624 equals 1 minus 5 to the m. I need to get this base by itself. Remember back in chapter 8 when we were talking about logs and stuff, um, depending on the order of the books that we went, um, we could try to use logarithms to solve this problem, and if we didn't get there yet, then which I don't think we did this uh, year, um, then we're going to have to do guess and check. But either way, I need to get this term here all by itself. So in order to do that, let's subtract 1 on both sides. And when I do that, uh, I end up getting 15,000, uh, negative 15,625 equals negative 5 to the m. And let's just get rid of the negatives. Uh, because they're both negative on both sides, just to make the problem easier so it's positive. If we didn't get to it yet, okay, if we didn't get to it yet, um, sorry to say what we need to do is we need to guess and check. You need to do five caret sign and keep typing in numbers on your calculator until you get the right answer. Um, and if we didn't do it yet, you can do it by doing logs. You can take, um, it would be log, um, base 5 to the 15,625 and that would give you the exact answer and if you didn't do that yet I'm sorry we'll have to guess and check and roughly that is 5 to the 6 power as your answer so there's your homework for tonight um, take your time with it um, the sum solving the sums is probably the most difficult thing personally um, in this section because you have the uh, exponents and if you didn't get to chapter 8 yet and we skipped over it and we went to chapter 11 then when you guess and check it does get a little more time consuming or tedious to solve these problems however otherwise shouldn't have a problem um, doing the uh, problems at all and if you have any questions or concerns please feel free to email me thank you very much